everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Popo from Game here, and today I am playing some more Cookie Run Kingdom. As you can see, we have an update. The War Under Shattered Skies update, I guess. Uh, it's like the Guild Update 2.0. We have two new Epic Cookies. We have Teenite Cookie and a Claire Cookie, which are these two in the front. Um, there's a new Guild Game Mode, lots of new Guild stuff. It, it's a Guild Content update, which is cool. Um, it, honestly, it looks really exciting. I'm kind of glad because the guild got pretty boring pretty fast, especially after I got, um, the cool cookie. There's also some cool celebration they're doing for one year. I haven't checked it out. I might do it at some point. Hey, Cookie Alliance is unlocked. Probably requires some story thing, but I'm sure I have it. Guilds have been renewed. Tap the button below. Uh, you can create a new guild or join the existing guild of your choice. Okay. Does my guild still exist? Um, oh, this is so cool. Yes, it does still exist. Welcome to your guild's domain. This looks so epic. Uh, first, you may check in here at the Beacon of Promise. Once a day for a reward, same thing as normal. Don't forget to check in daily. Yes, of course. Uh, you can also set up your greeting messages for your guild. Good. Guildies, okay. Uh, once you're done, tap a pay to greet them. Um, honestly, yeah, hello. Um, in enjoy. Boom. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, okay, this looks so cool. So we have our guild, obviously. We have so many guild buildings and things. We can expand? Oh my god. Uh. Okay, so it's a contribution thing. Work together with your guild members to expand your territory quickly. Expansion begins when the required mana materials have been gathered, then it will be completed automatically. After that, all giddy guild guildies, that's such a weird word, I will receive a reward in their mailbox. Um, now let's all work together to create the coolest guild ever. So this looks cool, but that's so expensive. I have no idea what that gives, but that's really expensive. Guild buffs. Is this just a generalistic thing now? These, like, attack, defense, and HP buffs? Because that's really good. My guild is quite high level, thankfully. One of the advantages of being a YouTuber. Um. Okay, yeah. So we're like, we're, oh, we have, like, a feast thing? Why am I change cookie? Definitely licorice. I'm being licorice. Guild battle. Is the guild battle still the same? Yeah, guild battle's still the same, though it looks way stronger, or it's just the fact that we're on level 27. <laughs> um, okay, we can check on that. <sighs> so many things to do. Do I get to check on the people? Oh yeah, 30 out of 30. Awesome. Hmm. Okay, check-in, guild battles. So it tells you if you've done the check-in, if they've done guild battles, stuff like that. When am I a member? I'm very confused, but okay. Um, okay. How did I- wait, did they change it so you no longer keep leadership of the guild? I have no idea, but that really sucks that I'm not a leader anymore, at least I haven't been kicked. Okay, I wonder, I guess that's part of the reworks. What are you? Memory jellies. Uh, somehow these just became imbued with all the memories of, um, uh, all the memories our cookie friends created during this, the year. Uh, they taste oddly familiar, a tad bitter, and rather sweet. Okay, sounds cool. So just like a remember thing. Uh, yeah, so I guess... I'm so confused. I feel like I'm in charge, and at the same time, I'm not. Okay, well, sure. Psst. I guess they changed it so there's a time limit, because I haven't obviously played in a while, so I guess that's a thing. Sure, okay, fine by me for the time being. Um... Okay, so obviously we have the Guild Museum and the Guild Alliance on the main new things here. There's obviously some stuff here. I think you can build in this guild shop, yes. So this is just going to be a brief overview update. Probably a pretty short video, I just want to take a look. Um, we don't have landmarks here. It's literally just decorations, okay? Right? Just decorations, they don't do anything here. Uh, no one from your guild supports this decor. Yeah, so they're just, they're just cool looking things to improve the look of your guild. So it's just decorations, which honestly is still really cool. I'm probably not going to do too much of that, at least not today, but that is definitely cool. So then the main things we have is the Guild Museum and the Guild Cookie Alliance. Do I really have to check on all of these for it to tell me I've looked at them? Speed run time. I have to look at all of these decors so it stops giving me the red exclamation mark. Uh, but yeah, this honestly sounds really cool. That is expensive still. Uh, just to get to decorate the guild area, that's kind of cool. The original guilds were kind of basic. All you did was... Log in, fight the cookie dragon, and that was about it, which is too bad. Um, is that it? That wasn't all of them. I missed one. 
Um, but yeah, so it was kind of basic. This honestly looks way cooler. Uh, I'm assuming the guild buffs are now, per like, all affecting. They used to only affect, uh, in the actual, like, guild battles. Uh, but from the looks of it, the guild buffs are now a permanent thing that applies everywhere, which is really, really cool. So that's really awesome. Um, and obviously this is the new one, which we already looked at. So I guess this is just a new one in general. So I don't know. No idea. I, it's just the one that they're telling me is to do. Uh, let's go look at the guild museum first, because this looks cool. Ah, welcome to the guild museum. I'm assuming these will get voice acting soon, but obviously, generally with the newer updates, they don't always have voice acting when they first come out, so that's fine. This museum showcases the history and culture of all cookie kind, and I am a Claire Cookie, the curator of this museum. Wait, are you here to donate a relic? Why, yes, please, come this way. If you'd like to collect more relics, I suggest joining the Cookie Alliance, so I'm assuming that's how we'll get access to relics. Something tells me I won't have any right now. Uh, you see, the harder the battle, the rarer the relic, and that's a fact. I hope you have fun filling the museum with all sorts of relics with your fellow guild members. Oh, this is so cool. So cool. Like, we just get to move around as cookies, that's so cool! Wait, we already have something here? Master's Violin. So someone already gave this. Um, has no individual effects. That's so cool. We have a second one here. A wooden barrel. I have no idea if these actually do anything, but that's so cool. And there's so many various areas. That's so cool. Can I sit? I can't sit. This is honestly so amazing. The fact that they did a whole design like that is just awesome. There's a second floor. Hall of Magic? Okay, I think I need to just- I need to leave this place, because this looks really cool, but there's so much stuff here and I'm gonna get lost. 290 guild relics. So yeah, there's various relics and I'm assuming some of them give buffs. There's no individual effect. Oh, none of them have buffs! Do any of these actually have individual effects? Boom. No. 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 Something tells me these won't all have effects. Candies! They have candies again! Just not quite how we expected. Okay, well it doesn't actually look like there's any guild effects right- Oh, there's a map too. This looks so cool! What are the- Oh, under construction, okay. That was- That was incredible. Honestly, every part of that museum was just incredible. So cool. It looks like there's a statue being made over here, which is kind of odd. Very, very cool so far. That's all I can really say. Time- let's just look at the Cookie Alliance. First of all, kill the cookie. Oh, I can do 150 of these. Is there anything new here? Um... Hey, there is actually. There's a new treasure insignia of the Indomitable Knight. So maybe next time we'll try to get that with my 150 guild gotchas. Right, because there is the two new cookies, obviously. We have... I guess they'd be at the bottom. Um, we have a Tea Knight cookie and a Claire cookie, which are both epics, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we also have the new treasure, which I guess is from the guild gotcha. He has 20% of max HP, invincible for 6 seconds. Uh, all remaining cookies, whatever, on ally cookie falls. That is very strange. Something tells me that would actually be really good in arena, but that's a weird effect. So when a cookie dies, it heals their max HP and makes uh, other cookies invincible. This could be really good against a lot of the, like, cheesy strats that have been going around. Like the, just one set of attacks to kill everyone. Because you can't kill one, more than one cookie in a single turn, essentially. Which is really cool. <laughs> Though I suppose you can get them pretty darn weak. Um, and I'm assuming there's some more costumes here, too. There might not be, but I, if I had to guess, there's a new costume of some sort. Okay, let's just look at the Cookie Alliance. I'm not trying to see it. I'm assuming this is Tea Night Cookie's thing. So the other one was um, uh, a Claire Cookie. So a Claire Cookie runs the museum. Tea Night Cookie, I'm assuming, is going to work in this battle. That sky looks epic. Those, like, purple magic circles looks really cool. More rifts are appearing in the sky. At this rate, the entire kingdom will be in danger. I'll light the beacons and call for help. Once they see the beacons light, cookies all over Earthbread will come help us. Together, we can save this world. I know we can. Season 1. Oh, it's a season thing. Of course it is. Guild Battles is basically what we have here. New season, chocolate too. A new season has started. Your score is reset when a new season starts. Okay, so that's good and cool instead of just cutting in half. Welcome to Cookie Alliance. Are you prepared to battle your foes and make history? This is your current tier. The higher your tier, the greater the rewards you will receive at the end of the season. Season's ranking is determined by your score, okay? Uh, here's your high score. 
earn this season and your current campaign score. As you proceed with your Cookie Alliance campaign, you will secure rewards. C. Reach the next required wave and secure the next reward. Uh, feeling lost, this will help you navigate around the map info. Cat map info to check your campaign progress. Uh, glory to remain in history is owned in hard fought battles. Your campaign score will decide your ranking. You can tap here to check it. Okay, okay. You will find the individual ranking as well as the guild ranking. Okay, not surprising. If you don't have a guild, this is an excellent opportunity to join one. I, I do. <laughs> At the end of the season, you will receive great rewards depending on your rankings. Glorious battles and historic rewards. Isn't it all so exciting? Also, you're welcome to try the auto-recommendation function should you have any difficulties assembling a team. Is that new? I can't remember if auto-recommendation has already been a thing before. Let's see, what's next? Aha, team settings. Do I actually have to go here? A campaign is going to be how she must set up five teams before the battle. There is a lot of stuff here, like a lot of rules. So basically they're taking the, I think, semi-unpopular, um... What was it called? The, um... It's kind of like Cookie Arena. It was like the... I don't know. The Malice Sauce tribe was in there, and then there was the Snow People, uh, where you had to make three teams. I don't think many people like that, and now you're doing it with five teams. Sounds about right. Uh, I mean, maybe it's throughout, like, different... your entire guild? I don't know. A campaign is going to be hard. She messed up five teams before the battle. Yes, yes, yes. You can swap between your teams mid-battle strategically. However, you can't change each team's position. Um... Okay. So you can't change which... Oh, composition. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Um, okay, oh, so I, I've seen this being very similar, which is basically just, just use your best cookies all at once. You don't get hurt. Uh, can we use multiple treasures? I asked, I've asked this before, it's normally true, but it's hard to know for sure. If not, this can make it slightly more interesting. Uh, let's see, second team, can I still use the same treasures? I can. See, that makes it kind of more boring, because you can just use the exact same powerful treasures for literally everything. Did I use defense in this last one? I did, right? Yeah. Like, I can just use these exact same treasure setups for every single one. <sighs> but, honestly, it looks kind of cool. I'm going to quickly set these up, because this is going to take a while. Um, and I'll be back when I have all four, all five builds set up. Okay, so I have all five teams built. Most of them are in. And my first one's my main team. Then I obviously have a couple others here. All of them are pretty decent, because I've leveled up a bunch of cookies a little bit to do, like, various showcases. Uh, but I have no idea how powerful they're gonna be, or how powerful other people are gonna be. Man, there's more instructions! Okay, oh, I almost forgot, the Beacon of Valor. I can talk about it for hours, but I'll be quick. You're not so quick so far, but I guess you are the museum caretaker that... Sure, I mean, this is good. It's good to get all the rules set up, but this is a lot of information. I have to click on it, don't I? Uh, you can ignite the Beacon of Valor and choose one of the two buffs for the campaign. I highly recommend doing so. 500,000... Okay, so it may cost a little bit gold. <laughs> Again, hopefully it's a team effort thing. Uh, you would like to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All cookies are invigorated with courage and become level 6. That's a really good effect. Uh, I'll be honest. That's really good. Because that makes it so much more fair for, like, newer players. That's interesting. I'm assuming the other one's just a damage buff or something. Um, you can choose the duration of the effect. A longer duration will surely come in handy if you're planning for a long campaign. Okay. Beacon of Valor cannot be ignited. Did I just get 500,000 coins? Uh, cannot be ignited mid-campaign. Make sure to ignite before using an alliance ticket. Uh, try igniting the Beacon of Valor before your first battle. Yeah, so I did just get the free money. So yeah, 500,000, that's a lot of money. Can I see the second effect? Oh, effect two, number of max level cookies. You don't have any max level cookies not available. Huh? I'm... I need to check something quickly. Cat. No, they didn't increase the max level. Allow me to introduce my I'm very confused. What do you mean number of max level cookies? Zero. You don't have any max level cookies. Not a bit. I don't understand that, but sure. We have seven days of this battle torch. Let's fight, I guess? Map info. So many waves. What? There's 60 battles? Um... Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is another thing to get rainbow sugar cubes. Well, I have to try this at least once. This is a lot. Oh, okay. Healers are going to be important on this. What? What is this? Why is there... Um, I see that the Cookie Alliance has started their battles. So take a closer look. Or, let's take a closer look, shall we? Okay, so there's my other teams. Okay, that makes sense. The battle will be automatically fought. You can just the battle speed. 
Uh, defeat the enemies and score points. If you enter the next round of the battle, you can own combo points. You'll lose combo points if you lose, so keep a close eye on your team's health. Uh, this is where you can see your battle progress through stage with reward chests to claim them. Uh, shall we take a look at your battle team? It looks slightly different compared to the existing battle slots, but you'll understand once you hear my explanation. It doesn't really look different. I see that Team 1 is currently in battle. Do you see the slot for Team 1? You can check their current status. Yes, you'll need to wait for some time um, when you're changing to a different team. Once you're done with waiting, feel free to switch to a different team that's available, okay? Sounds cool. Meet your end. Honestly? Oh, you wow. These are strong enemies. I mean, like, I guess all my cookies are level 60 Meet now, so my end. other teams are actually pretty decent, it's but... Over for you. Wow. Perfect timing. We can switch to a different team now and try tapping a different team. I don't really want to. Do I really have to? I have to. Press the ready button. I don't want to, but fine. They're gonna make me. Are they gonna make me? No, they didn't make me. Hey. That's cool. Uh, so yeah, what I was gonna say is these enemies look really powerful. Not in the sense that they're doing much damage. They just have a stupid amount of health. Um, and we don't actually have a time limit. Our time's just going up. But this is gonna take so long. So, so long. I'm really confused about this. 42. Yeah, like, this is so s I'm gonna be honest with you, I find it kind of dumb that the battle's easy, but just takes so long. So they do, like, no damage, but they have so much health. Especially considering we don't actually have a time limit. I mean, I guess maybe the time could, like, affect our score. But it just it really doesn't make sense. Okay, now we're taking a bit more damage, but still, nothing significant. It's very strange to me. I don't really- Are we he not healing? It's over for you. Is healing nerfed? So, I, it looks like we're healing 72 health. I don't know if that's because we're at max HP. Or literally heal- No, 12,000. Okay, healing is not nerfed. I don't think. These enemies look cool. I'll, I'll say that quickly while we, while we enjoy and watch. Uh, these enemies look really epic. Like, really, really epic. They're cool, like, Star Galaxy people. I guess they come from the rifts. It, honestly, interesting. I was- this- this is cool. I like the library. Strength Cephalus. Uh, I really like the idea of a guild base. I really like the idea of the library. How you can move around like you're using. That's really cool. See your guild mates. I think all that's really interesting. Uh, I, I kind of like the- oh, we're fighting after an actual cookie. Mal sauce cookies are boss. Uh, we're actually losing a bit of health. I wonder if we heal if we switch to him still. I'm interested about that. Probably not, but it's hard to know for sure. This is Chapter 1, Wave 4, I guess. I don't know what that means, necessarily. Cookie's team is still good, so I'm not gonna switch yet. Um, so yeah, what, 50,000 points. A campaign Chapter 2, your allies attack speed something or other. Can, can I see what it said? No. Oh, Cookie attacked me down 25%. Oh. Okay. So let's just take a look. If we switch teams, it's a 20 second cooldown. Okay, 20 seconds isn't that long, but I sort of understand since you don't want to just instantly get abilities back up. Um, but realistic- oh, what are we gonna lose quickly? Realistically, this lets you use two abilities right next to each other and then switch back to your main team. My main team is not healing though, so I don't really see the appeal. And then the ability cooldown to sort of reset for seconds. Okay, I don't really see the appeal of switching teams very much. I guess for specific counters, but for the most part, it doesn't really make sense. Uh, we're starting to struggle, I'll say that much. Raspberry's about to die, Dark Chakra's at like half health. This isn't easy, since I'm pretty sure there's, what, 60 waves in like 5 chapters? 6 chapters? So this definitely isn't easy, but... It doesn't seem particularly difficult either, it just kind of seems honestly a little boring. This is cool. There's new guild enemies. I kind of like this idea of like a campaign. Uh, it's not quite what I was expecting. I was expecting no guild battles. Instead, it's just like a campaign school, which is kind of cool. It's different from a lot of other games, which is kind of interesting. Uh, mostly, though, I really do just like what they did with the main kingdom. Uh, I like there's another treasure you can get from the guild gotcha and that it didn't lower the percentage of the other treasure. That's great. More likely to get something interesting. Uh, we will try to get that next time. The new cookies, obviously I don't really know much about them. I've seen their abilities, which they're kind of cool. So we'll try to get at least one of those tomorrow. I'll quickly check at the end of this when the when the next gotcha is, I guess. Can I, okay. I don't know if this is dumb of me or not, but I'm gonna exit. 
I know it's what we shouldn't have. We hadn't lost or anything. But it's... I'm on a bit of a time schedule. I don't have a ton of time today. And I do want to make sure I can get this video out quickly. Oh, I can resume it. Okay, good. I want to just double check that. I can currently resume it. Uh, we got some chests and things. Get some more of the time things, random items, and whatever. Oh, a relic for your guild. Okay, that's what the bronze token is. Cool. Last thing I want to check quickly is what the featured cookie is, and that'll probably be it for today. Uh, featured cookie. It is. It's a player. Okay, so a player is the featured one. I'm assuming that, uh, yeah, teenight is just a normal cookie you can get. They do that a fair bit. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. I know this was a little short, just a quick run down of the update. Uh, we'll probably play some more tomorrow or in the next couple days. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!